So today's lesson is all about Cornell notes and repetition. The biggest thing, the question I would like you to be able to answer at the end of this presentation is what is repetition and why is it important? So first you need to know what repetition is. The one that we're going to focus on today is the recurrence of an action or event. The act of repeating something that has been said or written is another definition for repetition. The example I'm going to give you for repetition is free throw shooting. The way you get better at shooting free throws in basketball is you do it multiple times. You do multiple repetitions of it. So if the best free throw shooters in the world all go out and shoot free throws every single day to get better at it. How does this relate to notes? So the biggest thing, you need to use your notes. I know a lot of you just go put these right in your backpack and we never see your notes ever again. You need to do revisions of your notes. You need to take them out, look them over, and perform some revisions. Some examples of revisions are you can number your, number your ideas, one, two, three, main ideas. You can circle key words. You can underline the main ideas. You can fill in some gaps. This can be done when you talk with a partner. When you're done taking notes, you can say, hey, I didn't get the year. Can I, you, can fill, you can always go back and fill in the gaps. Uh, cross out unimportant items, write down any questions that you have, star things that you know are going to be on a test. Maybe your teacher said, hey, this is one of those items that is on a test. That's a good thing to star right away so you remember that when you go to study later. The reason, the why, why should you care about this? The biggest thing is the rate of forgetting. So if you just took, your, took notes one day and then never looked at your notes again, on the in three months, you would retain about 10% of that information. You would remember 10% of it. The rate of forgetting says that you should go back and use your notes, perform revisions to them in about 18 minutes after taking your notes. So when you get to your next class, when you're waiting for the class to start, it's a good time to just look over your notes, add some revisions. Then you're supposed to look at it one day later, your rate of forgetting will go back up to 100%. Within seven days, so a week after you take them, it goes right back up to 100 if you do another revision. Then one month later, you just have to spend about a five minutes, and it'll go back up to 100% again. This is usually about that time when tests come, so it's a good time to do a perform revision on your test, I mean on your notes.